Praise the Lord, everybody. I just want to come on for a few minutes today to talk to you about putting your hope and trust in God. Our scripture reference is coming from Jeremiah 17, 7 through 8, and I will read it for your hearing. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spread out its roots by the river and will not fear. When heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Amen. Now, in these particular scriptures, it gives reference to putting your hope and trust in God, not in man. We are living in days where sometimes all we have is our faith. There are some people who will just take their chances and fly by the seat of their pants. Then there are others who say, I will put my trust in God. It makes a big difference in who you put your trust in. If you are planted by the rivers of water, streams of water, is sent out and the water saturates the roots and its leaves are always green. You may not have everything you want, but I pray you have everything you need. As long as the roots are covered with water, hallelujah, it will never fail to bring fruit. As long <laughs> as the roots are covered, it will never fail to bring fruit. As long as you are planted, rooted, and established, you will always have. The Bible says you have not because you ask not. I dare you to start asking for what is already manifested in the earth. Lord, I thank you that in times of droughts, I shall never fail to bear fruit. As we listen to what is going on in the world, just remember to keep your eyes on Jesus. He will bring you through this. Draw from God's strength. Ask him to keep you, to strengthen you, and to give you wisdom on how to maneuver during this time and during this season. If you invite him in to your situation, he, you know he can fix it. All you got to do is invite him in. God, I need you. He is a gentleman. God is a gentleman, y'all. He is not going to just bogart his way into your life. You have to invite him in. Invite him into your finances. Invite him into your home. Invite him into your marriage. Invite him into your family. Invite him into your everyday decisions. Because you know you can't do nothing by yourself. So why not invite the one in who knows everything about everything about everybody about all things? Amen. He is a keeper and he will keep you. If you put your trust and confidence in the Lord, like Ty Tribbett song says, we going to be all right. <laughs> Amen. So with that being said, just know that God loves you and that I love you. And if you need prayer, just let me know. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.